Jeff CV. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about another very disturbing game, Creepypasta. Whenever I do a video about a creepy game or glitches or stuff like that, you guys want more. Before we jump right into the video, you guys know that last week I announced my last end of the summer merch drop, which are the hats. They are still available, link down below. But my sister actually just started her own merch. So I thought I'd give her a little shout out. She doesn't know I'm doing this for her, but she has a line of sloth merch. It's so cute. There's a sloth necklace, a sloth lunch bag, a sloth wallet. They are adorable and they're all available right now. I'll also link those down below. Just had to shout out my sister. I love her so much. All right, so let's get into the video. Today's game is called Mr. Mix. Now people say this was an old PC game that came out back in the 90s. And just like the theater game that I spoke about before, some people really remember this game and other people didn't even know it existed. It's a game where you have to type words into a box to make a chef named Mr. Mix put ingredients into a bowl. Now, most typing games are for very young kids to teach them how to spell. So usually they're very, very simple. But this game is known for being notoriously hard to beat. The game has this words per minute requirement per level. For example, on level one, you only have to type 10 words in a minute. Then it progresses and by level three, you have to type 85 words a minute. And then by level five, it expects you to type 500 words in that minute. That is literally impossible for any human to do. So because of that, no one has ever been able to beat this game. Now, as weird as all of that is, that's not the creepy part of this game. One of the main things that people notice immediately about this game is the background music. The music on the first level was an unsettling pattern of growls that got progressively louder as the level went on. Now, this growling was so loud and vibrated the computer so much that it always damaged people's computer speakers. Then the second level had no music at all, which was very weird. And the third level sounded like an extremely low quality recording of a hairdryer playing in the background. And then the remaining two levels had this high pitched ringing sound. Now this ringing noise actually caused severe eardrum damage in children. And listen, not many people were even able to get that far through the game, but those who did literally had to be hospitalized over what it did to their eardrums. Another very disturbing aspect about the game was the way that Mr. Mix himself was designed to look. He was a large, round-faced man with large beady eyes and red spots on his cheeks. His expression was extremely eerie. Most children who played the game reported having vivid nightmares of Mr. Mix, speaking to them in a quiet, raspy voice. They would tell their parents that Mr. Mix would threaten them to keep a secret for him. And none of these kids would tell their parents what the secret was. One psychologist who saw many of these children reported being disturbed by the sheer amount of terror on the faces of children as they recounted the details of the nightmare. Many children would break down in tears while telling their parents or psychologists about what the nightmare was. And there were also so many reports of kids telling their parents to save them. Now, I want to talk about what happens if you beat the final level because no one has been able to. Now, for obvious reasons, the game didn't sell very well because of all these very scary reports. And because of that, for years and years, people forgot about it. No one was able to find even a copy of it for the longest time. Until recently. A few years ago, a group of PC hackers got hold of the game and started digging through it. They managed to crack the game's code and bypass the impossible fifth level. But what they found when doing this was extremely disturbing. Now, like I said, no one had been able to reach that final level because of all the dangerous things it would do to people. So according to these hackers, when you get to the final level, the game starts to behave even stranger. The game crashes violently and closes down, leaving behind a bunch of files on the user's computer, kind of like a virus. Now, when the hackers opened these files on their computer, they were reportedly filled with pictures of people that 
that had these creepy deformed faces. It almost appeared like they were screaming in agony in every single picture. And if you attempt to delete these files, your computer will crash. And apparently it causes irreparable damage. After these hackers saw these very creepy pictures, they were just so distraught, they were unable to even form sentences for weeks. And after about a month, all of them went missing. And because of that, all of the remaining copies of this game were completely destroyed. To this day, no one knows what was in the game that caused them so much psychological damage, and maybe it's better that way. Now, two years after this incident, a man was arrested after trying to kidnap an eight-year-old girl from a grocery store. Now, obviously, he went to jail, and through fingerprint DNA and their analysis of him, they found out that he was one of the original hackers that disappeared two years ago. Now what was incredibly creepy about the appearance of this hacker was that he was wearing a white chef's hat and had a look of unspeakable malice and insanity on his face. And when the police were interrogating this man, he only had one thing to say. I'm Mr. Mix. And that's how this story ended. It is so creepy. Obviously, I believe this is just a creepy pasta, but I still love these kinds of things. Now, before I go, I have a very, very short game creepy pasta I wanted to mention. It's called The Maze, and it's about this girl who was just playing games on the Disney website back in the early 2000s. I remember when I was young, I used to be on the Disney website all day long, especially on weekends. And sometimes while you're playing, these little ads will appear on the side of your computer computer screen, usually advertising other games or websites that you can click on. Well, one day this ad popped up in front of this girl and it was for the maze game. The picture of the game looked very intriguing, so she decided to try it out. When she pressed play, the game automatically went to full screen and it showed this huge maze. Now, the goal of the game was pretty simple. You just had to use your arrow keys to find your way out of the maze. You can either go right, left, straight. It's a very straightforward maze game. Everything seemed normal at first. The maze was pretty bright and the music was uplifting, but the farther she went into the maze, the game started changing. The screen would slowly start dimming while she was going through the maze, almost as if it was becoming nighttime, and the music began slowing down as well, almost warping. She didn't feel right, and after about 30 minutes, she wanted to stop playing. She wasn't able to find her way out, she thought it was pointless, and it was just giving her the heebie-jeebies. So she went to press the X to close her screen because she she couldn't find any stop playing button in the game, but as soon as she did that, red text popped up on the screen in front of her that said, I wouldn't try that if I were you. You wouldn't want Steven to get hurt. She gasped and was in complete shock because Steven was the name of her brother, and how would the game know that? And every time she went to close the game, the game would have this text that would come up that would threaten her with something that was actually in her real life. So she sat at her computer for a total of 49 hours trying to beat this game. When she finally exited the maze, her eyes were bloodshot, she hadn't slept, she hadn't eaten, she had dark circles under her eyes. So there was this warning going around the internet telling kids not to click on an advertisement for a game called The Maze because apparently it downloads all this software on your computer and it knows everything about you and it won't leave you alone until you exit the maze. So yeah, that's incredibly creepy and I don't like mazes anymore. Anyway, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos on creepy game things, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget to check out my sister's new merch. I have linked it down below in the description, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!